Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to grow mushrooms from a pre-cooked bag of Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. The few things that you're going to need are isopropyl alcohol and paper towels, liquid culture syringe of your favorite strain of mushrooms, a lighter, micropore tape, and a bag of Uncle Ben's Ready Rice, preferably the whole grain. If you need a place to get liquid culture from, you can visit sporeandsprout.com. The first thing that you want to do is make sure to wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol and then flame sterilize your needle. Let the needle cool down and then inject the bag with 1 to 2 cc's of the liquid culture. After inoculation, make sure to cover the hole with micropore tape. This method for growing mushrooms is super easy and useful for beginners to get the hang of how mushrooms grow. The bags of Uncle Ben's Ready Rice come pre-sterilized, so there's no need for pressure cooking or autoclaving. After you inject your bags and cover with micropore tape, you need to pierce a hole in the top of the bag for air exchange and cover that with micropore tape. The bags are now ready for incubation. During this period of time, they need to be stored at room temperature to allow the mycelium to colonize. You can check the progress by looking at the bottom of the bags for a white mycelium growth. After about two weeks, you should see something like this. And at this point, it's ready to fruit. So you just cut a hole in the side or the top and fan and mist it every day until you start to see primordial growth. The bags need to be kept in proper fruiting conditions, so that's why you need to remember to fan and mist them every day at least two or three times. You can create a mushroom fruiting chamber from a plastic tote and some other materials if you want. I have another video on my channel on how to make one. This growth is about five days into fruiting, and you can see primordial growth starting to form from the cuts that you made in the bag. It has now been six days since I cut the holes in the bag. And once they start to form, they grow very quickly. I injected two bags for the purpose of testing the difference between cutting a hole in the top of the bag and a hole in the side of a bag. This is the bag that I cut a hole in the top of, and I believe it is growing faster because there was more air in the top. This growth is from one week since I cut the bags. After eight days, the mushrooms in the bag on the right are nearing maturity. It has now been 10 days and the mushrooms are ready to be harvested. Harvesting is the easy part. Just pluck them off and store them in the refrigerator or cook them immediately.
We just harvested the first slush from these bags, but they're not done producing. So continue to mist and fan every day until more mushrooms grow. And you can repeat this process three to four times before the bags are done producing. To cook them, I usually just saute them in a pan of vegetable oil. You want to cook them on medium heat for about 8 minutes until they start to turn golden brown. After 8 minutes, you can add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and it really makes the flavor pop out. Cook for one more minute and let the apple cider vinegar evaporate and then they are ready to eat. These were absolutely delicious and I can't wait for those bags to produce a second flush so I can have some more. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.